Don't put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by Yeah I just see her face where Hi guys, my name is Stefano and I'm a content creator. I live in the Seychelles Island, which pretty much not a lot of you have heard about this place, but I'm half Italian, half Seychellois, that's how they call it here. And I shoot a lot of underwater. As you see my video that I just posted that you just saw, I hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, it was all done with the GoPro 11, as it mentioned in the title. I'm gonna share what is actually best for you to feel underwater. I'm not talking on land, on landing is totally something else, but underwater, my best settings that I've used and I've get so nice quality out of this little gadget. I have one here which is actually broken. I flooded this one, I don't know how, but it happened. And this one actually still works. Um, but my main my main settings when you go and you look at the GoPro it's pretty much you I want to shoot in 4k um, I know a lot of you will say 4k why you can shoot in 5k but the thing is it's 8 by 7 this is the, f the actual size of the sensor and you want to use the whole sensor to capture every angle that the camera possibly can if you shoot it by 4x3 or 16x9, you can have, you'll have to choose if you want to shoot vertical or if you want to choose landscape. You will have to decide. Uh, but in 8x7, you can actually film because it's a square uh, size, so you can actually manipulate wherever you want to crop and what you want to show in vertical or landscape. And you have this option only in 4K60. You can have it in 5K, but you don't have it in 60 FPS. Why do you want a shot in 60 and higher? It's because underwater things move so fast. Uh, things can actually turn around and go. So if you think you have enough time to underwater that fish is gonna go slow, trust me, they will swim quite fast and you can't really stop anything going on. So when you're having higher frame rate uh, 60 and above you can actually slow it down in post-production and having a nice smooth video of a fish of a ray of a shark if you get a chance to um, so that's why you want to sh shoot in higher frame rate instead of just the standard 24 30 and uh, the other thing which is very crucial that you will need to change it's going to be in the pro tunes settings so 10 bit this is where GoPro 11 shine from the predecessor of the 10 of the 9 and below if you have if you don't have the 11 but you have the 10 and below this setting still applied but you won't have the 10 bit option the 10 bit option actually give you much more color data to use in post production for color grading and the rest you will have to leave it in bit rate it's going to be high um, the shutter speed for me it's on auto why I leave my shutter speed on auto when you going underwater the light change quite fast and you want to be in a shutter speed which the camera thinks it's correct if I'm gonna leave it on a fixed shutter speed the camera can be too dark where I am or the camera can be too bright where I am and I cannot touch GoPro underwater, it doesn't respond to my fingers underwater, so that's going to cause an issue. So I leave it on auto, and it does a pretty good job to get nice, smooth video nothing choppy, nothing too blurry. Um, and the ISO maximum it's 800 for me. I think, I think I've done some tests above 800, it's not really usable, it's 
quite grainy and the medium sharpness it's a sweet spot color i leave it natural because then i bring my own color correction and color grading into my footage but if you put the gopro standard colors they are too vivid too bright colorful i can say and it's not nice for me to actually then put my color correction and color grading into it so that was pretty much what i used to shoot with the gopro underwater if you guys are the, if you guys have if you guys have any questions about my accessory that i use and any other questions please ask below uh and please ask if you like this video subscribe and give a thumbs up i don't know else what to say i'm pretty much new to this stuff talking oh and he has a screen in front like the nine and the ten uh it's pretty much amazing um yeah if you like this pretty please thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video i think that was it i mean talking in front of a camera is not that easy um but I did it. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, as I said.